Hi, I'm Jeff. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I made the leg joinery jig for the monster microwave bench that I made some time ago. Stick around. The placement of the joinery for the legs needs to be consistent across each leg so that the frame comes together correctly. I made this jig specifically for cutting the joinery in the legs. This jig allowed me to route mortises for the floating tenons that are used to join the legs to the stretchers. The jig also allows me to drill holes for the shelf pins. The jig uses dowels for alignment of the inside edge of each leg. One dowel references on the top of the leg so that the, the mortises are placed vertically consistently. And two other dowels reference the inside of the leg so that they're placed horizontally in the same place. The dowels are not fixed, meaning that I can push them through so that I can route the other side of the legs. Let's look at how I built it. The jig is made from 16mm MDF and this is a router with a guide bushing for the water. I cut a strip of MDF the same width as the bushing to guide the router's path. I cut the strip over width, then refined it using the table saw and the digital calculus. The remainder of the jig is made from two pieces of MDF that provide support for the router. Having cut the wide part, I cut the guide bushing strips the length to create the mortise slots. The mortise slots are 7mm longer than the mortises to allow for the size of the guide bushing. A melamine board is used to support the pieces during the glue up. I cut the melamine narrower than the width of the jig so that it would not interfere with the clamps. I should have applied glue to the guide bushing strips only, but mistakenly applied it to the length of the jig. This caused problems later. This seemed like a good idea at the time, but it should have been obvious that I was doing the wrong thing. I sanded the jig flat once the glue up was complete and then trimmed the ends to the length. Tight fitting movable dowels are used to align the jig with the leg's reference surfaces. Holes for placing the shelf pins were then drilled. I tested the jig by creating a test leg. I discovered the glue up mistake once I started to cut the first mortar and the guide bushing started to bind. I removed most of the friction by sanding away the extra glue. I tested the placement of the mortises as the joinery needed to be accurate. The shelf pins didn't need to be placed as accurately. Well I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, click the like button below and if you didn't, the dislike button. Either way, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. If you have any other comments or topic suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I invite you to subscribe to the channel and click the notification button so that you stay up to date with my videos. Thank you for watching.